All right, so one of the things that I love about Free Show is that it allows you to create scripture slideshows like this that show two different versions of the same verse. Uh, you can use this as like a parallel study if you wanted to, to show two of the same language, but I love that you can also use it to show two different Bibles from two different languages uh, to depict and to display for uh, a mixed congregation of uh, multiple different languages. And so today we're going to learn how to import Bibles or scriptures into free show and then how to group them and display them like this. All right. So the first step is to go to your scripture tab at the bottom uh, and that's uh, default in free show along with all these other options down here. But once you go to the scriptures, you're going to go to the far left. And you're going to see a list of default scriptures that I've got down here. Some of these are there and you'll see them with this open Bible uh, look here. And then those that I've added have this look here. And so if you want to add your own scripture or update the scriptures that are there, you simply click at the bottom to say new scripture. And then it gives you this option to say import scripture from API or local. And so if we go to API, it gives you a list of all these uh, API Bibles and you can scroll through, you can do a search. So I did a search for uh, Swahili and you'll see here it comes up with all these different or these couple different versions. I can go back and you could do a search for, uh, let's say, Chinese and you'll see the different Bibles available in Chinese. But you can do a search for all these different Bibles. You will scroll through, select the one you want, just single click on it, and it will show up as a part of your Bible list. So I'm going to pick one I don't have already. Let's do uh, this one here. And then, so I've added the Orthodox Jewish Bible. I close that out. And if I go down to my list, you'll see the Orthodox Jewish Bible is listed there. And if I click on it, it automatically updates the Bible that I can see over here. And all the Bible books are different in a different uh, setup or language or whatnot. And then the verses themselves, if you scroll through, are set up in that way. All right. So I've got my Orthodox Jewish Bible. And I've also got this King James authorized version uh, that I've downloaded from the API or imported, I should say, from the API. The cool thing is you can actually combine those so you can get this double uh, verse effect. But here's the kicker. You have to make sure that they all have the same icon uh, in terms of they were all from the API. And then these are ones that have that uh, text icon in them that I actually imported um, on my own from my local device. And so let's go to these. So the you hold down, I'm on an Apple, you hold down command. And then if you were on a Windows, it would be uh, control, I believe. I'm not sure what the option is, but the, whatever is the equivalent to the command key on Windows it might be the window key. I'm not sure. But you do command and click, and then you would go to the second Bible you want. So whatever one you want that you know you can you know understand and read is the one you want to select first. And then you would select with the command button, select it again, and click that one or the second version. And you can do this up to three or four different versions if you wanted to by continuing to holding down the command key and clicking different versions. But I'm going to just do these two. I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to call it a new collection. And when I do that new collection, so I got the King James and I had the ortho, the Jewish Orthodox or the Orthodox Jewish. And I go up here and what ends up happening is it says King James Plus here. This is the one that has my Orthodox Jewish Bible with it. It just didn't put in an abbreviation for it. And so I can click here and it shows me in English what I've got. And if I select that Bible, you'll see up here that it changed or that verse. I'm sorry. It shows the Orthodox Jewish Bible and then it shows the English version in the King James. And it shows you here. King James Version plus the Orthodox Jewish Bible. But it doesn't say that down here in my little description. So I can right click on this and rename it. And I can call this Orthodox Jewish. So now I've got 
my Orthodox Jewish Bible. I've got a Brazilian or Portuguese and King James Version. And I did the same thing. I just selected those two versions, right clicked on them, and then I selected collection or make a collection out of these. And then it combines them. Now, let's say you wanted to have three different versions of the Bible. I've got that here. You would go through the same process. And when you want to show three different versions, the main thing you have to do is you have to go to your template. So I've got my template set to double versions right now, but you want to go to where there is three verses. So scripture three, if I click that and then I click over here, you'll see that it shows three different versions of the Bible. Now, those templates are default. So on the left side, on the right side here, let me pull this up so you can see this a little bit better. On the right side, your templates will depict or determine how many verses are going to show up. And by default, you're going to have scripture, scripture two, scripture three, and scripture four. So that is one verse in one language. This is one verse with two versions, okay? And then one verse with three versions, one verse with four versions, all right? And I call them languages, um, but they're just different versions because they can all be the same language if you wanted them to be. But you would have to make a group of two, three, or four different versions of the Bible in order for that particular um, template to function properly. So let's say I go back to two verse setup and I select a verse. You see how it overlaps and it kind of gets weird and things are all out of place. Because I'm using a three version Bible uh, collection. So if I go back up and I go to three and pick the next verse, it updates and you'll see they all fall in line and everything's in its proper place. If I were to select the scripture that was for four and I go to another scripture to update it, notice that there's four boxes and it's putting the, um, the details in a box as well. I personally, I don't like that, um, but that's just what you get when you put in the wrong template with the amount of scripture versions that you have. So I'm going to go back to the three, and if I click on any scripture, um, it comes up and it organizes them properly. All right, so just a quick recap. So first of all, how to import. You go to new scripture at the bottom left, and you pick API or local. If you were going to do local, you would need to have downloaded an XML file of a version of a Bible that you wanted. And you can do the same exact thing. And when you do an XML, it would come in and it would have that closed or that filled in text of a version of a Bible as opposed to this open text Bible icon here. These you can group together with the closed text and then these you can group together with the open text but you can't cross them over so if i hold down command and i say i want to do the berean bible and the new king james it does not select both even though i'm keeping the command key held down so that's something to note uh, when you're trying to do this and then remember whichever the first one is that you select is going to be the language that shows up in your search all right so if you speak portuguese then you want to select the portuguese bible first and then pick the King James or whatever version you're going to use to compare it with or couple it with. All right. And then once you do that, you want to make sure that your template cor correlates with the number of versions. And this is in black here. So I've got three different versions in this Bible. If I go to this version, so now I've only got two. I need to make sure that my template is Scripture 2. Uh, if I go to just a regular Bible, notice that my template is changing for me. All right, so I can click on this one. It goes to Scripture 3. If I click on this one, it goes to Scripture 2. And we're looking over here on the right side of the templates. And then once you do that, you can select your Scripture. And voila, it automatically shows it and it gives the reference because I've got it set to show the reference and show the version. All right, that's a whole nother discussion, but your, your settings that you have over here do directly affect how... Uh, it's depicted in your show. And this is just a, a, a sample of your show or a preview of what your show would look like uh, for your viewers once it's up on a monitor, on a projector, or online for your online audience, whatever it may be. All right. So that's how you import scriptures and group scriptures in free show.